So I've noticed that she's gotten girthy. Girth. I hate you so much. Yellow. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Jill, and today, since I conveniently have all of these located in my room because I clean them and I am selling them, they will probably be sold before this video goes up. They are in fact sold, right you are, Jill. But these are total saddle fit girths. I have a brown, a black, and a synthetic. And uh, the problem that I have heard from two separate saddle fitters, one at County and one at Capstone, was that total saddle fit has like a design flaw because I've been riding Zoe for three years and about halfway like through that I started um, riding in total saddle fit and Zoe went home blah 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 and now I've been riding her in them consistently for about a year and I've noticed progressively uh -uh. no no you cannot eat girts you can't eat that either um I've noticed progressively throughout this um this year that I've had her that she's gotten girthy all of a sudden. This is what my videos are gonna be like now, by the way. You sit, you sit. Oh, that's a good sit. You can't lick me in the face, I won't let it happen. Ah, my bun's falling down, great. Um, has gotten girthy throughout the time that I have owned her for this past year. Can you do that later? intermission. Okay, we're back. Anyway, <laughs> so <clears throat> Zoe's been getting girthy and that <laughs> so that's because when you put the girth on like so this is hard to demonstrate without it being on a horse. So the girths go on like this. Horse's head is this way, horse's tail is this way. So they go on like this. These are the cutouts for it, the shoulders. The only issue is like it kind of curves like this. So it does a curve out, like the whole girth goes out, not just this one area. And the problem with that is that this part, this front half, when it's on the horse, doesn't touch the horse. So the belly is like here, the belly's like here, and it does that. It's not that extreme, but I'm just telling you what it does. So basically the whole weight of your saddle being strapped down is right here. Um, I, I asked you guys on my extras account, Jet Extras, um, what your findings were with this, and some people were like, I think it really depends on the build of the horse, like if they have a really deep, um, like, barrel, then it's, it doesn't do that. Um, I don't know. Number one, my, uh, dressage saddle, my stack house doesn't fit, um, so I have to sell that. We had this fitter out, and she shimmed the Mattis pad, and it just couldn't get to a point where it would fit Zoe, so I really just have got to get rid of that saddle. I have a friend that's gonna look at it. But beyond that, we are just gonna sell it. It's a medium tree stack house. It is a super nice saddle. I've had it for like three years maybe. I got it as a Christmas present. I have oiled it like weekly and conditioned it pretty much daily. Um, or when I use it, I clean it. And um, my name's Mala from Poesis. Oh yes. <laughs> Don't like me. Don't do it. I don't want it. Don't do it. <laughs> anyway, I keep getting so sidetracked. But, so, total saddle fit girths don't work for Zoe. The capstone saddle fitter said that they are, anatomic girths in general are bad. Person at county um, went to put, when we were trying to county saddle on Zoe, she put on an anatomic girth, and I was like, I'm with the person at capstone, and she was like, no, no, no. Our girths were the first ones, they're the anatomic, they don't do that specific pressure point. Um, thing that these do where all of the weight is here and none of it is on this part of the girth. It's all just on this like thin little area um, because of the tilt. They were like, ours are like shaped to not do that. Um, so they actually distribute the pressure. So this is my knowledge that I have obtained from other people and I'm passing it on to you. I don't know, I'm not a saddle fitter. I am not a girth maker. I don't have any hard feelings against total saddle fit. Literally anything I asked them to send me, they were like, yes, we're on it, good, we'll take care of you. So I am extremely appreciative of them and I don't mean to bash their brand at all. It's just that's not working for my horse and I have got some opinions about it and I just wanna do what's best for my horse. So I'm all about trying different things to see <clears throat> what she goes com most comfortable in. I ride her in a leather bit for crying out loud. Like, <laughs> I <laughs> am trying to do what I can to make her happy. So. Anyway, with that long-winded speech, um, I asked you guys on my Jet Extras account what 
girth you use and what you think I should use. And a lot of people recommended Professional's Choice. And also Tapestry. I just forgot to, you know, mention the most important part of my segue here. You guys recommended them to me. <laughs> okay, <laughs> there it is. This is their business card. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks, camera, for being super freaking annoying. The Tapestry Equine Products reached out to me and they were like, hey, we saw you follow us. And I was like, I'd miss that message. And then on my Jet Eventing account, I saw somebody DM'd me that they were having an ambassador contest. And I was like, I'll just reach out to them and ask if they want to work with me. And they did. And then I saw the other DM and I was like, oh, my bad. <laughs> um, so anyway, I just got this package in the mail. Um, I spoke with them like four days ago and it's from Canada and it's already here. So like, Moy moy impressed about the shipping. We have the spur suaders. When they said spur suaders, like I don't know why I didn't look at them on the side. I thought they meant like those little things that go around spurs, like the little leather things that go around them. No, they meant literal spurs. Um, I don't know why I didn't take a look. I just I was like I don't ride in spurs. I don't need them. But they went ahead and sent me a pair. <coughs> it says. Made especially for the sensitive horse. Spur suede is a gentler but no less effective than the traditional spur. So essentially they just have this little ball thing here. Um, if you can, if this will freaking focus. There it is. Okay, so you can see the spurs on there. This is what they look like. It's pretty dope, pretty dope. Um, you can read the little blurb if you would like to. Um, but yeah, I think it's, so I'm interested to try these out and see if they're gimmicky or if they are like magic without being like, hey, get off. And I just want to like a gentle push. Like you should not a, you know, wanna, you know what I'm saying? And I think this might provide that. I'm really, really interested to try it. Okay. I talk about products for way too long. I watched somebody else's unboxing video the other day and they were like, this is this, this is this. And I was like, how do you do that and not spend 50 years talking about stuff? It's in relation to the total saddle fit uh, conversation earlier. Let me unwrap all this. Let me present to you the Tapestry Comfort Girth. Look at this bad boy. Let's get a, a close up. Wow. This is a nice. I got a 24 inch because Zoe is a small bean, but this um, is a nice cushy. I believe it's neoprene if I'm not totally mistaken. All of their information is on their site if you're interested in checking this out. They are elastic -y. And um, obviously, um, all the pressure would be distributed evenly because this is totally, totally straight. I don't know if I'm doing it justice because gravity. It has this little pad. It's super, super squishy. It's comfy. That's what I'm trying to say. Firm elastic. Yeah, so that is it for now for this product. Um, I, I'm excited to try it out. I'm sure you guys will get my opinion on it on Instagram. Um, but yeah, um, I just want to say thank you to the companies that work with me. This is phenomenal. Um, so I, I'm so open to trying new things that sometimes I get sucked into gimmicky products and I'm worried that's what happened with my last girth experience. Um, but you know, I, I like, I want to do right by a horse and that's how everyone advertises their products. So I am naive. Hi. This is, this is the premise. So, um, yeah, now I'm done. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> okay. So I'm out at the barn. I have our tapestry equine products girth on Zazu. Um, it's not all the way tight yet. She's still... A little unhappy about the girth situation. Um, hopefully, if we use this one enough, she'll get to realize that it's not that bad. Um, I also have on Cavalry dressage boots. They are very nice. Very dicey. They look great. Um, they're medium front and back. I probably could have gotten large backs, but they fit well. So um, I'm going to go ahead and ride the bean. Okay, guys. So I think I actually really like this girth. Um, like my saddle obviously still pulls this way a little bit. I'm selling it. Don't worry. We're getting a new one <laughs> um, to fix this issue. But um, I really like it. Like this, this little pad right here is very squishy and like it has all the pressure right there and like there are no sharp edges and like there's like virtually no contact there. It's all right strapped through the stitching and <clears throat> and this little bit of elastic here. Okay, so you know when you plan to do something and then it doesn't turn out like you planned it? Well, that's what happened with this video because it was supposed to be like a conglomeration video with like hauls from like everything. But as I said earlier in the video, um, I can't stop talking about any one thing. And this had such a big issue to address with um, the information that I have 
found out about the girths and I wanted to bestow upon you guys, um, whether it's accurate or not, I don't know, but whatever we're doing right now is not working for Zoe, so this is really important to me, and I know that a lot of you guys have been very invested in our journey and our, like, <laughs> you know, attempts to solve the issue of the saddle and the girth not fitting and just creating an overall happier horse, so just know that I really do appreciate that you guys are so invested. It, it really means a lot. And um, I hope that this video was somewhat educational or helpful in one way or another. Um, again, no hate to Total Saddle Fit. Uh, they did everything that I could have asked from them, but it just it doesn't work for Zoe, and that's the bottom line. So that is my story. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and are enjoying our tough, tough, tough journey in uh, making sure that we are completely situated and that Jill's not getting sucked into uh, gimmicky products. <laughs> so I will keep you guys updated on how this girth is going uh, just so you guys can like, you know, you know, you know. So live vicariously. But <laughs> that is the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video. Here today,